Hello and welcome back to Never Blower Homestead. My name is Raul and in this video I'm going to show you how I put together my rainwater harvesting system that waters my chickens. Um, I actually started this project over a year ago but I had to stop it for a few reasons um, and just recently picked it up again. So if some of the video seems a little bit weird or out of sync or whatever that's just because I filmed it with different cameras and different times of the year and things like that. Uh, having said that Let's uh, take a look at what the problems were and then get into building the system. When I first got my chickens and I built my chicken coop, I got one of these waterers. It's the one that almost everybody gets. The only problem is that it gets full of dirt really quickly. I put it up on a little bit of, of a stand and that still didn't help. I was still getting poop and all sorts of other dirt in there. So I built this to stop the chickens from climbing on top of it and to see if I could get less poop in there and it kind of worked there was less poop but it still gets filthy and it's so filthy that the chickens don't actually use it anymore they go seek out other water in other parts of the yard where I've got sprinklers and other things on the go so I need to change this I need to fix this to make the gutters I took some flashing that I had left over from when I built the chicken coop and I bent it into the shape of a gutter using a 2x2. Two two. I measured out the length of my chicken coop to know how long my gutter needed to be and I took two pieces of bent flashing and I riveted them together. With the gutter together I drilled holes in it for where I wanted to rivet it to the flashing. Then I designed and made the end piece. and my wife and I held it up to the flashing and marked the holes so that I could rivet it to the flashing later. So for the downspout, all I did was uh, take two pieces of the gutter that I had already formed out of flashing, I cut them down so it was a, more of a square, and then put one inside the other and riveted them together. And then I just cut and shaped the bottom here so that it would give more of a cone to fall directly into the actual downspout that I'm building. And then all I'm going to do is, you can see the holes here, I'm just going to rivet this to the piece of gutter and I'll have one piece there. Now I know that they're going to be holes and my goal is not to catch 100% of the rainwater, but if I can catch like a good 90%, I'll be very happy. So I just want most of the rainwater, I don't necessarily need all of it. So this will do. I know it's not going to be watertight, but it will do.
To place the rainwater barrels, I leveled the area where I wanted them and I built a platform out of wood. I cut holes in the barrels where the fittings were going to go. And I placed the barrels on the platform. Then I put all the fittings into the holes in the barrels and sealed them with a food grade sealant. I joined the barrels with that piece of PVC. With some two inch PVC, I cut and fit my downspout. I didn't glue it together because I wanted to be able to adjust the downspout as necessary as time went on. Then I attached the downspout to the side of the chicken coop so that it would catch the rainwater from the gutter and put it into the barrels. I cut a hole in the hardware cloth in the chicken coop and I pushed the first pipe through and I glued it to the barrel. Then inside the chicken coop I assembled the watering pipe and glued it into the piece coming through the hardware cloth and then I was ready for rain. Thanks so much for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Also, there's a link down below this video if you want to get some of the merch with our logo on it. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.